We started the club in 2006, uh, started it with one, one team, uh, very quickly moved to two teams and we're currently running with four teams and uh, we're not trying to be uh, a big club really and it's, uh, it's quite nice to just run with a small number of teams because you can do things differently. When you're running with 15, 20, 20 teams in a club, they have things like presentation nights and some of the video stuff we do, uh, particularly on the website where we uh, focus quite a lot on the website, very, very difficult to give the attention to a large number of teams. So four is quite nice and um, you know, it's all about managing the club properly and uh, you know, how big the, the club becomes is not really that, uh, that relevant to be honest. The best thing for me about being part of Huntley Warriors is basically the ethos of the club. Um, it's all about the kids enjoying the football. It doesn't matter about the result. Yeah, it's nice to win, but it's all about them enjoying the football and that's what we believe in as coaches as well. Again, for the last 12 months, the club has helped me out no end. We've had no end of problems, but with Paul and Sue's support and all the players and parents, we've got through it and yet again, the club's come out on top. The values that we're trying to promote really are to try and give um, young players of all abilities the opportunity to play football. It's not really about uh, having a team out there that's uh, storming away in Division 1 or whatever. Although winning games is, is good, it's good for the players and it's good for the parents and managers and coaches. But I think it is more important that we're taking players, giving them the opportunity to train, um, looking at the, the, you know, the discipline that comes with that, uh, team spirit, developing the social skills and everything else that comes with, uh, with playing in a football team. That's the most important thing to us. Charter standard is very important to us. You know, when you take on board a player and the parents, you're taking membership fees from, from the parents, you've got to run things properly. And so we take that quite, um, you know, we take that responsibility quite seriously. And, uh, you know, we've, we've set ourselves up to make sure that we comply fully with what the Charter Standard, the FA Charter Standard, is, is trying to strive towards. I've been with uh, Hopmore Warriors since 2006 in the formation. Of course, we was there a long time before that as well, but Hopmore Warriors has actually gone to another level. Uh, probably one of the best run clubs in Nottinghamshire. Warriors is different from other clubs uh, because it does a lot of activities outside of football uh, which involves the kids, i.e. if they go ice skating, uh, laser quest, anything like that which the kids love uh, and it's, it's like a, a bonding thing as well because it shows when they're on the pitch. What's really good about the, the club, I think, is that we uh, put an awful lot of time and effort in not just what happens on a Saturday, Saturday morning or Sunday morning, we help them uh, during the week and through presentations and uh, extracurricular activities. Um, pretty much um, the club always puts the kids first. Um, I, you know, I, I've respected that about the club for a long, long time. It's, a, you know, it, it's well run, it's efficient. Uh, the kids have a great time. Um, and you know, uh, both as a parent, you know, and a coach, um, it, it's a it's a pleasure to have my child here. I think Hucknall Warriors offer all the lads uh, the chance to be part of something really good, which they should all be proud of. So overall, we've got four teams, uh, four good sets of lads. None of them give us any problems, really. I think we've had in the last, uh, you know, probably in the last four years, to be fair, I think we've had maybe, uh, you know, one red card and a couple of yellow cards maybe across the whole of those four teams. That, you yeah, know, that, that says something, really. Uh, great set of uh, managers and coaches. Um, but also, you know, it's important to, to run a football club. You need good people in the background. You know, that can be linesmen. Um, you know, every week on every game, we need somebody to run the line. Uh, and that's a difficult job, because as soon as you put the flag up at the wrong time, you know, there's another 40 people that have got a different opinion um, so number of people um, you know help out with the lines and um, administration is another very very important uh, part of the club um, so we've got some, some good people there helping to you know collect the membership fees and communicate information so you know really really good team um, across all four teams <laughs>